Hey, welcome to this lecture about how to pitch a TV show to the TV networks. First, let's start with the purpose of a TV network. Television is about selling advertising. I'm not talking about the technical aspects. I'm talking about its business purpose. It needs to make money, a profit. You need to keep that in mind because it's not all creative. It's not all about going out there and making these ideas happen. It's a business behind everything that happens in television. So you need to keep that in mind when you're pitching a TV show idea. You need to keep two other things in mind, which are advertisers and audience. Two A's, advertisers and audience. What does that mean? It means you need to keep your audience in mind. Don't try to make everyone happy because you won't. Stick to your audience and be loyal to them. And in return, hopefully they'll be loyal to you. Second is your advertisers. You can't just ignore the fact that your TV show is a tool for the network to sell advertising. So you need to keep your advertisers in mind when you're pitching to your TV show and you need to be advertiser friendly. What I mean by that is that the network that you're pitching to needs to be in line with the show that you are pitching. So don't take a skateboarding list, jump off the roof kind of show to the Oprah network because they do different kind of programming than that. You need to Find what network fits your show. If your show is about family, then look for the family-oriented networks and so on and so on. It happens all the time where people just try to go to any network with any show and it just doesn't work that way. You might make it happen if you are like the best salesperson in the world. I'm saying everything is possible. But to maximize your chances, you need to keep in mind the network and the content that you are uh, bringing to them. Another thing to keep in mind is the types of advertising that the network sell and how does is your show friendly enough for them to be able to sell advertising. For example, there's just a straight out commercial, just the advertiser buys 30 seconds and they uh, you know, put their commercial and sell directly to the public that way. There's other kinds of advertising nowadays that are coming into play into what kind of shows that networks are buying. For example, product placement, that's huge. Uh, for example, when you're watching a movie, you see a big Coca-Cola sign, that's product placement. It's being able to advertise a product within the, the realm of the show. Another one is product integration. That's different than product placement because product integration integrates a product into the story or into the actual show. For example, the character is addicted to drinking Red Bull. Now you're talking about a product that's been integrated into the story, that's part of the story, not just placed in the story, but it's actually a necessity in the story. So those are a few ways that advertisers are trying to reach the audience, since nowadays people can just skip through commercials uh, because they pre-record the shows. They're looking for new creative ways to integrate their product. You need to understand the business behind all of this when pitching a show, because if you can create avenues for the network to sell advertising within your show, then you're talking about maximizing your chances on selling that show. Another method of advertising is sponsorship. Sponsorship is when uh, an advertiser likes your product so much that they're willing to uh, sponsor your, your program, meaning that they'll say, you know, this segment is brought to you by Clorox or, you know, this, this show was brought to you by such and such. That sponsorship is huge. That really brings you at a level where you have some power in the network. Because without that, really, it's all about your ratings. And the way that ratings work is that the more people that watch you, that means that more advertisers will want to advertise because you're reaching a bigger audience. So your ratings, you really can't control them because it comes into a lot of other elements as far as scheduling, you know, do they put your show in the right slot? Um, is your show marketed well? Is it reaching the audience that it needs to? So a lot of times you can't control your ratings. All you can control is the quality of your program. And hopefully if your quality is high enough and you're engaging uh, a, a big audience, then that means that you're doing a good job as far as reaching that audience. Like I said before, and I'm going to stress it again, don't try to please everyone. Please your audience. That's what really matters because at the end of the day, they're the ones that will follow you regardless of what network you're in. You can move that show to another network and that audience will follow you. So they're the big key to, uh, to making sure that, your network, uh, that the networks buy your program. And when you pitch it, you want to keep in mind all these elements that will make your show more attractive. Remember this, networks are in it to make money. 
and they're willing to invest money in things that they know for sure will make them money. It's very hard for them to take risks. Behind every network, there are executives, and these executives, they, their job is on the line with every decision. So a bad decision will mean that they might not be able to pay their mortgage next month. Keep that in mind. Why? Because you need to know that your show can make or break someone else. So why would someone take a risk uh, on a program that's not ready or that's not engaging or it's not advertising friendly? It won't make sense. They always, executives need to always keep their jobs on in mind so when they make decisions, they make it based on whatever is the safest decision for their careers and for the network. So to wrap it up, the purpose of a TV network is to make money and they do this through selling advertising. So keep that in mind when you're pitching a show that is a business. It's not all about entertainment. It's, there's a business side of it that makes the entertainment happen. So make sure you keep that in mind and you understand what is the purpose of the actual network and what is the purpose of the specific network you're targeting. So that way you can go into a meeting prepared and they can see that you have done your research and you know what you're talking about.